A limitation of GA4 that I run into a lot is the fact that you can't report on specific conversions in Looker Studio, formerly Data Studio. Which is to say, you can report on how many conversions happened uh, from a GA4 account, but if you have different types of conversions, like the example I'm going to use is a contact us conversion, uh, I can't look at that specifically. So. Right now I have a dashboard up from uh, my website to octobers.com and over here we've got this is the session default channel group report in GA4 and if we like we see this conversions column and we do have the ability to pick specific conversions so I can pick this contact us submission and it'll show me how many of those happen based on the channel group. In Looker Studio, I've got conversions, and, but I don't have a way to just look at that one conversion. And you might wonder, well, could you filter it? Not really, because you'd have to filter it on event name. And uh, if you did that, then that would mess with reporting on other events. So like in this case, I'm reporting on sessions, for example. So I'm going to go through a couple of different ways to address this. Uh, one is um, you can do it with a blend. So the two ways I'm going to talk about are with a blend and then um, you by creating custom metrics in GA4 um, and then you can report on those. So the blend approach is not, it's sort of nimble and, and you don't need to have the ability to make changes to a GA4 account to make this work. So what I'm going to do here, um, my one one way to create blends that I really like is click on the um, these two tables. I'm, I just copied the tables, and then uh, I'm going to right click and then click Blend Data. Okay, so now I have a blend here. Then I'm going to uh, take this blend and on the right side of the blend and, and right now it's um, joined on uh, session default channel grouping um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a filter and i'll create a filter here and i'm going to say event name and say equals and the, let's have a look so the contact us submission that's the event that we want to filter on and we'll go ahead and copy that and i'll say name equals and I like to prefix my filters with the data source that they're designed to filter on. So, okay, so now I'm going to apply that filter. And then I'm going to change uh, the uh, conversion here to and okay. And then I, I don't need sessions here, so I'm going to get rid of sessions. I'll go ahead and leave conversions over here. I'll just, I'm going to change this to total conversions. And we'll save that. Close that. Now we'll go ahead and add the contact us numbers okay so now you see i don't love the fact that it shows null there so let's go ahead and change the um, null value so missing data in this case i'm just going to have it show zero so there you go one way uh, i add in contact us submissions and i have done it before where i'll go and blend 
J4 to itself several times if, I, if there are different uh, types of conversions where I want to have column counts. And I, I can, if I wanted to, I could, could create a uh, calculated field in the report. That's one nice thing that you, so with blends, um, they can act a little weird with calculated fields in the data source, but I can add a calculated field here. And so I could say, we'll just say version rate, and we're going to say the contact us divided by sessions um, and The, oh, and I'm going to change the type of that to percent. And do average. And throw in a sum. Okay, now, I do, of course, I don't have sessions in this report. Might as well add that too. Oops. All right, I want to stay there. That's fine. You get the idea. Okay, so that's one way. Um, that way is fine, I think. It's a little hinky. Blends can be a little weird depending what you're blending on uh, and arguably unnecessarily complicated. And of course, um, I don't know, it just they're complicated. Um, so we'll get a different way of, of, of doing, getting to the same thing. Uh, so the other way of doing it is that you can add custom metrics for conversions that you want to pull into Looker Studio reports. Uh, and I have this set up in a, in a different account, so I'm going to pull that up uh, and, I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so here I've got um, these custom metrics here, and the one that we're going to look at is this uh, BP contacts, and we'll go out and pull that up. So if you look here, the, the custom metric is, it says aggregated count of the BT contact form event. And then the event parameter is the BT contact form count, unit of measurement to standard. Well, so how did I make that work? Let's go, so the way I did it is to go into Tag Manager and the event that I'm tracking here You'll, if you see, we see I've added this parameter name, BT contact form count, and with a value of one. So what that means is every time this event fires, it's going to send the event to GA4, which is set up as a conversion. So it will count in the conversions column, but it also will send this BT contact form count parameter, and that BT contact form count parameter will get aggregated by the um, that uh, custom metric that I created. So then let's have a look here. I've, I've, I've got that um, GA4 account um, pulling into this this table in this dashboard, so it looks kind of similar. But so now from here, if I want to add a metric, um, so I've got this BT contacts metric. And so now it pulls that in right there. So you can see that's kind of nice, like no blends. One of the downsides of blends is that uh, Google introduced quota API quota limits in, in November, uh, which I, because I was using this blend approach a fair amount, I, I ran into that quota limit hard, uh, which basically meant my, my Looker Studio dashboard stopped working because on a given tab, I was pulling in J4 as a data source 
uh, many times because I had these different tables that were, were blending the data. And, and when you have a blend that combines GA4 as a data source four times, that actually counts as four API connections. I didn't realize that until I ran into that quota limit. So you can see this is easier to work with. I think a downside of it is that you have to be really committed to these variables because once you start adding your own custom metrics and dimensions into GA4, and there are limits to how many you can add, but more importantly, it just sort of muddies the water unless you're really sure this is something that you're going to want to report on over time. So I like that the blend approach is more nimble, but I like that this one's easier to use and uh, ran, uh, runs afoul less often with uh, Google's quota limit. So. Uh, if you know of another way to do this, uh, love to hear it. Um, reach out, and thanks for watching.